People have to have something to remember. You can show an electric iron and people say, oh, that's, you know, pretty exciting. But you can have a robot that uses all the technology that Westinghouse had at the time, put it together, and it does these marvelous tricks. They're not gonna go home and say, oh, we saw iron, we saw electro. And again, they're going home and saying, where'd you see electro? Well, Westinghouse. It was thought that thanks to Westinghouse engineering, someday robots will do all our household chores and even walk the dog. Assuming that dog is Sparko, the robotic dog, who appeared with him during part of the fair. At seven feet tall and 260 pounds, Electro did some pretty amazing things. You see, all I need to do is to speak into this phone, and Electro does exactly what I tell him to do. Electro could differentiate between the colors red and green and would speak out red or green. But most importantly, he smoked cigarettes by the dozens and not only puffed them and inhaled, but blew the smoke in great billows from his nostrils. And folks, he's only two years old, too. Just learning. Why, well, he's almost human. If he wasn't so big, I'd take him for an engineer. Westinghouse would have loved Electro. Westinghouse would have loved the whole exhibit. It, it showed, first of all, solid workmanship. And I think that's what Westinghouse means. You know, when you think of Westinghouse, you think of solid craftsmanship, dependability, and inventiveness. Who? Me? Yes, you. Okay, toots. During a radio interview with KDKA on his way to the World's Fair, Electro said, I'm so tough, I'm the only guy in the world that really shaves with a blowtorch. He was not so tough as to withstand water, though. Specific instructions were given not to take him out in the rain. Electro was actually the third in a line of Westinghouse robots that started in 1927 with Televox. In 1932, Westinghouse created Willy Vocalite. One far-fetched idea for the 1939 fair, which was mercifully scrapped, was to convert Willy Vocalite into Electro's woman companion robot and to have her do dishes and vacuum at the fair. People for centuries had put things into boxes. So you're building a building, you put a cornerstone, you put a box, you put some things in. Westinghouse comes up with an idea. We're going to have this for 5,000 years later. People are going to open up and see what 1939 was like. The time capsule was filled with artifacts of the day, including a slide rule, hats, seeds, cigarettes, and letters from scientists like Albert Einstein. Made of cupoloy, it was meant to be a 5,000-year time capsule and to be opened in the year 6939. It remains buried today in the same spot. The letters from Einstein and other famous scientists of the time hinted at the dangers of atomic weapons and the possibility that mankind might not be around in 6939 to open the time capsule.